In this lesson, I want to show you that how you can host a static website in S3. So as I've already said that uh, one of the features of S3 is that you can host a static web website. Now, uh, you can uh, host a static website and um, for the dynamic websites, uh, AWS has another features, but for the static websites, uh, you can easily uh, use Amazon S3. So now let's just uh, uh, create our first unit. I'm uh, going to use React.js. So uh, first of all, I need to create a new React app. So for that, uh, if you come down, so now React is a JavaScript library and it's used for building UI. And uh, you now the first thing is that you need to create a React app. So you can just use npx create React app. And after that, you need to give your app name. Also make sure that you have already installed Node.js so you can just download and install Node.js and after that you can just use npx uh, create react app and after that give the name of your app. So I already have installed react app and uh, now if I uh, run this so you can see that this is my react app, this is the source folder and uh, let me just run this and I can just npm start and now let's just wait for the starting of the react app so now you can see that this is our development server and you can see that we have local host and this is our react app so i'm not going to bring any change but i want to just show you that how you can for example host your this react.js website uh, in the amazon s3 so First of all, we need to create a bucket. So I'm going to just open the AWS console and let's just click on create bucket. So I'm going to just say, for example, AWS uh, tutorial like this, one, two, and uh, I'm going to just uh, I'll leave this uh, as it is. But I want to just uh, uh, uncheck this because I want to access this uh, uh, website. So after that, I can just say I acknowledge that and now we can just create our bucket. OK, so now the bucket is created. Let's just click on this. So now we don't have any object or files. Now, the first thing is that we need to just uh, build this React.js app. So let me just uh, control C and in here I can just npm run uh, build. And let's just wait that it's uh, creating the build for our this uh, project. Uh, you can see that creating an optimized production build and you can see that we have our build folder in here. And let's just wait. And it will do that. Okay, so now the build is completed and we have a build folder in here. We have these are the files and these are the static uh, folders. And if you see over this my app, so you can see that we have build the folder in here. So after that, we need to upload this. So now we can just click on upload and we want to upload the files. So first we can just go to the build. We need to just upload these files and click on OK. And after that, click on upload. So now let's just wait and it will upload the files and it will take a little bit. So now the files are uploaded and after that we need to upload the folders. So now we can see that these are the files. Uh, we can just click on upload and we can add folder and we want to add the static folder. Let's upload, upload and now let's just upload and now we need to wait for this. Alright guys, now the files has been uploaded. Now if I close this, uh, you can see that I have my the static folder and also these files. After that, we need to just go to the properties and we need to enable the static website hosting. So if you come down in the properties, so we have a static web, uh, website hosting and in here we can just enable this so we can just click on edit. And right now this is by default that's disabled and we want to just enable this. We want to just leave it as it is, host the static website. And in here, we need to just uh, add our index.html. And after that, so right now, I'm not going to add any policy. Let's just save change this. And now uh, it is changed. The 
changes are saved. And you can see that now we have a link or URL in here for our static website. If I click on this, you will see that uh, it's not working and we are receiving 403 for bedding. And now that's because, because we need to attach a policy for this bucket. And for that, we can just go to the permissions. And from here, uh, if I come down, you can see bucket policy. We need to edit this. And uh, right now, if you see, this is the policy. We want to edit this. And for this, we can just go to the policy generator and in here. Uh, so the effect is allow the principle is all so I can just add and uh, you need to choose the service so okay you need to choose the service from the top select type of policy and it's three, it's three bucket policy and now it's also changed also we need to give the action and the action is get object so we can just come down and yeah this is get object so after that we need to give the ARN of the bucket so now we can just go to the Amazon S3 and from here let's just click on this and let's just click on properties and this is the ARN and add that in the ARN. So let's just paste that and uh, so the principle we need to just add all. So now it is done. Uh, I think uh, let's just uh, add a statement and after that we can just say generate policy. So now this is the policy. Let's copy this and now we can just go to the permissions. And let's just click on a date, paste the new policy, and you can see that this is the action get object, and this is the resource. This principle is all. Let's save change. So so why we are receiving? Action does not apply to any resource in the statement. Let me refresh this. Delete this, paste this, and let's just save change. Uh, we have an error, I think. Uh, and here we have made a mistake or so let me just create that again so let me refresh this oh yeah we have uh, made a mistake so now let me just uh, create that again because in the resource we need to just also add a slash all so three bucket allow this is the principle and let's select action and that is git so git object and in here we need to paste the oh sorry paste the resource and let's just get get that and we can just go to um, properties let's just copy this and we can just add it add in here and we can give a slash and all like this star so now we can just add a statement and let's generate policy Let's copy and let's just go to the permissions and now we need to edit this. So now this is our policy. This is the get object. The effect is allow and this we need to add this also that we have added resource and this is the principle. Now let's save changes. Now it is edited. So now if I refresh this. Now you can see that we have our React app and you can see that this is hosted in uh, Amazon S3. So you can see that you can use a static website to host in S3.